guys, welcome back. It's Phoenix Stables here, and today we are going to be doing a little tutorial on how to make a sleigh harness or just any harness because I feel like this is most requested. Um, not on my channel, but for lots of people to make. And I also just wanted to say that thank you guys so much for 1k um, plus subscribers. I'm so excited, and hopefully, my community tab will be up and running super soon. Also, my tax shot will be up as soon as I can get it up. Um, we're just getting the billing all sorted out so that you guys can order from it and hopefully it will be up by Christmas. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get back into the video. Alright guys, so we are first going to start off with the materials you will need. So the first thing you are going to need is white ribbon or red ribbon, pliers, 20 gauge wire, jump rings, wire cutters, scissors, of course your hot glue gun, and your hot glue sticks. And lastly, a model horse. I will be using Firefly for this demonstration. Alright guys, so you are going to first want to measure out your ribbon. I'm going to be using red ribbon because I think that looks really well on a lot of horses, but you are welcome to use white or any color you really want. So I've already measured this out and I would say this is maybe a foot, um, a little longer, um, just because um, it's always good to have less rather than, I mean, it's always good to have more rather than less. So I would cut it about a foot or a little bigger. And now we are going to get in on the measuring. Alright guys, so you are first going to want to start off by measuring the flank piece, which is what we're going to start with. So you want to measure it just above or just a little bit more on their flank on both sides make sure that they're even so it will cut like that and I normally like to hold it and it looks like I cut it about, oh my gosh it looks like I cut it about this length so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that alright guys so now you're going to take your piece of ribbon and you're going to be using two jump rings and you're going to connect them through each end of the ribbon like this and then you're going to hot glue them down like that. Alright guys so here is what it's looking like so far and it should fit on your model horse pretty well like that on both sides. Um, so I already measured this off camera but this is just the piece to go around like this on your horse to go under the tail and I wanted to leave a little extra space because we will have to make a clip to clip on to one of the jump rings. Alright, so now to make a little hook like this one right there, sorry, um, to clip onto one of the jump rings, then your pliers, and you're just going to want to take it at the end like this, and then you're going to want to curve it around the whole part till it makes it to the end like that and if it needs a little space to come in again just try to get it as close to the end as possible I know it's hard and then you're going to want to take this end clamp it right at the end curve around your plier like that and you can make it a little longer but I prefer to keep these little details pretty small and then you're going to take your wire cutters and cut it off probably around that length and then cut it and then to make it look more like a hook take your pliers and squeeze it like this and if you do need to cut it more like mine just make sure you cut off not all of it but just some of it so that there still is room for you to put it in your jump ring alright so now you should take your hook and thread your ribbon through it only on one side you only needed to make one hook um, but we'll probably make more throughout the video so here is my hook and I just cut off the end a little bit to make it at an angle so it could fit through it and then you are just going to 
glue it like this and then put another and then don't put anything else on this side. And you're going to take your other end and you're going to glue it down onto the other jump ring. Alright guys, so now that that step is all complete, this is what it should look like now with your little hook on it. Alright guys, so moving on, I have pre-cut these to a size about this long. It's probably about a inch, a inch and a half long. And then these are used to go around like this. And the reason why I've cut them is because we're going to need to add another jump ring on each side of these ribbon pieces so that we can connect them to the jump rings on the flank strap. All right guys, so now your little pieces should, your pieces should look like this. They just have little jump rings on one end of them. Then you're going to do this on both sides and you're going to loop them like we have been through the jump rings on the flank. Alright everyone, so this is what it should look like now with it up like that and it's starting to actually look like a harness now. And again, I have done this off camera but this is probably about, uh, I don't know, almost two inches, probably two inches um, of ribbon. And this is going to be the neck piece so we'll wrap around like this. But it does depend on the length of your um, straps on this side so it does depend how long this piece will be mine is around two inches but again you just don't have to be like that but this is just so it will connect here and go around like that but now we are going to work on the chest piece and i have already gone ahead and made these two pieces so one of them has a jump ring connected to it and this is probably a little less than a inch and then the other one is the same size, but it has no jump ring. And then you are going to connect um, both of them to each of these jump rings on each side, and then move on from there. So now they are going to connect like that, only straighter, to the middle jump ring so that it looks like a breastplate. Alright everyone, so this is what it should look like now, and now it's finally starting to look like something, and I think it's looking super good. And then we are going to go to this middle jump ring, and measure it like that, and this is going to go under this, like this. And you're probably going to want to measure it to about the middle of the horse's stomach, and then cut it off there. Alright guys, so the next step that we are going to do is that you need to make the belly piece, which is, I've already gone ahead and made it, but basically it's just a, another jump ring on one end, and you do have to make another hook on this end so that it can hook around like this, so it can go around the belly, um, but, um, now basically what you have to do, it's super hard to do on camera, so I'm trying to explain it as best I can from this side. So basically you're going to want to match it up with the end of the belly piece here, and it's going to wrap around the other side, and then the jump ring is going to come around so that you can attach the hook to the jump ring. Alright guys, so here is what it looks like now. Um, so here is it buckled up and everything. And I did secure it with glue so that it was one full piece instead of just one that was attached. And I think it's looking so much like a harness right now. I think it really ties it together. So basically, you're just going to loop it around the tail like I have here. And then I am simply just going to cut it to the exact size and I'm going to glue it onto this piece here. So what I was trying to say is that a clip or um, a little hook is going to have to be on one side, most likely the end, and you're going to find a length that you like and that you want on your horse. And basically, you're going to have to take another jump ring, and you're going to 
have to cut it in half where the hook is going to go and put a jump ring in the middle and then glue it to this piece when you're done. So I am going to make this so that it's easier to see, but also you do not have to do this part. Um, it is completely optional, and but I just think it adds a little more detail to the harness. Alright guys, so here is it with the tail piece, and I think it's coming along so well right now. It's starting to actually look like something, which is really great. So now obviously we have to move on to the headpiece. Alright guys, so I normally measure out this much for the noseband to go around your horse's nose, and then I just attach the jump rings to each end of the ribbon. Alright guys, so this is what it is right now, just this little nose piece. And then you just want to add the bottom piece so it will look like this and then you can just easily put and connect it over through the next jump ring. Alright, so now that the nose band is done, it should look like this and it should be a little loose so that it can most likely fit any horse and so it's just a little easier. So then you're going to measure the cheek pieces. So I normally tend to cut them around, I'd say, probably that long and because they do need to be short and I do cut two of these and then I of course attach my jump ring to one end of them. Alright everyone so this is what it looks like now with both cheek pieces on. So then this part is also pretty straightforward and you are just going to take your ribbon and if you're new at this you can totally just measure it out like this by measuring it from one jump ring to the next just over like that and then cut it as you need to that totally works as well of course I sometimes do that when I'm making new halters for some of my new horses but you are just going to cut off the measured strand and then attach it to both cheek pieces Alright guys, so now that your chin strap is attached, we're going to make a buckle. And I have already started, so you're going to want to make something a little like this by first wrapping it around like that, and then going around and bending it to make it like a square. And then take the side that hasn't been bent yet, and you're going to wrap it so it makes a square like that. Um, and this is going to be the first half of our buckle and then take the side that hasn't been bent again bend inwards take the other side and bend it inwards so now you have got a little buckle so then you are going to take your wire cutters and you're just going to cut it off like that and then take it out and of course cut it off to your desired length. I normally cut mine off mostly all the way and so then it looks like that. Alright, so now that we have our buckle, we are going to cut off a little piece of ribbon, probably about this much. Uh, that is probably all we need. And then, this is sort of the tricky part. So actually it's not too bad but you're going to want to weave your ribbon through both sides so it works as if a buckle would so then now that it's threaded through you're going to want to hot glue it so that it ends up looking like that so that the ribbon is all threaded through the buckle so now that your buckle is all threaded through you're going to want to thread it through another time through um, your buckle, at, I mean not your buckle, your jump ring at the top of your halter and then just fold it over and glue it on the other side. Now we are going to take a longer piece of ribbon and put it on the other side like this and thread it through this side and then of course just glue it down. Alright, so now that we have our halter all complete, and you can just slide it on your horse this way. This is most of the ways I like to do it, just because it's a little easier. 
but uh, sometimes I do just have to undo it like on this one. So then you just do that and then you can tighten it. Alright, so now that this is done and I've cut the um, halter to the exact size that I would like, um, you're going to take some more jump rings. I actually don't have these set out. But you're going to take the jump rings about the color that you've been using. And so I've been using my silver ones. So then you are just going to take one of them and you're going to open the jump ring. Hold on, let's get in focus here. So you are going to open the jump ring like this by just pulling against the opening and most jump rings do have an opening so you can just pull it out like that so now there's an opening in your jump ring and then you do this on two of them alright so now that you have the jump rings on both sides of your headpiece you're going to take a longer piece of ribbon and then you are just going to take your jump ring that you have just attached and you're going to thread the ribbon through and this is going to be one side of our reins and you're going to duplicate this on the other side as well. Alright everyone, so here is the finished product with the reins on and I think this is looking, I think this turned out so adorable and I cannot wait to use this in my Christmas special and I'm so happy that you guys are excited for it because I can't wait to film it. So um, I will definitely be using this and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys about a little basic harness um, because you know, this is a lot better than my first attempt at this harness. So I hope this was a very helpful tutorial for you guys. And I hope that it was super nice for you guys to follow along to. And um, I just want to thank you guys again for 1K because I didn't think I was going to get here until Christmas. So considering we got there like only a couple days ago <laughs> is super amazing to me. And I cannot thank you guys all enough. So anyway enough talking, um, but um, I just wanted to thank you guys again. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember to like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video!